Hello and welcome to a quick video on changing the color of individual line segments in a line plot based on the local derivative. So in a previous video, we plotted this data set here for the gold price in New York City and charted it. So one thing you might want to investigate for this uh, data set here is how much the gold price changes from year to year. In order to do that, we can compute the derivative of this data here. We simply create a new column inside of the data frame, which is the change in the gold price divided by the change in time. Now, in this case, the change in time for every step is just a single year, but in principle, it might be once every month or some other uneven increments. So it's important to also uh, divide by the difference in time here. So this provides us with a, a new column data frame where the zeroth entry is going to be not a number, and the first entry is going to be the derivative of going from entry zero to entry one, and the second entry will be the derivative of going from one to two and so on and so forth. But actually, for our purposes, we want to get the is one of the forward derivative where we at the zeroth entry of this list here want the derivative going from zero to one. For the first entry, we want the derivative going from one to two, and so on and so forth. So all we have to do here is simply take the column we just created and then shift it by negative one. So now we, we take all of these values here, we simply shift them back backwards once. Note that this causes the uh, final entry here to be not a number, but that's actually fine for what we for our purpose right now. So let's print this out and see the that here so now we can see the change in the gold price over this column here. And it says it's $4, so that should make sense. We go from 36 to 41, 4.8, that seems to be sensible. And we can also take a look at the tail here and see that we get a lot of number down here for the final entry. Okay, so let's actually make a plot of this derivative we just computed. Once again, here we have the, oh, yes, I am indeed still here and I'm not a robot. Um, here we have the gold prices before, and now we have the uh, change in the gold price from year to year. So some years ago, it was up by like 300 or down by yeah, negative 200, whatever it might be. Okay, so it'd be interesting to maybe condense this information a bit more instead of having two different plots. Of course, as in the previous video, we could um, create a dual axis plot showing the price on one side and the growth on the other one. But I think something more elegant would be to uh, modify the color of every segment of this line here so that whenever we have a very big possible increase in the gold price, then it's marked as maybe green. Whenever there's a decrease, it's marked as red. So how can we sort of map the derivative onto the color of these lines here? So to do that, um, we can import some useful tools here from the Matplotlib library. And then first, we're going to create an array of points. So we simply get a list here where the um, first entry is a set of t value and the y value. The next entry is the next t value, the next y value, and so on and so forth. That's what we do right here. Then we create an array of line segments. So this is just an array where the first entry is a little sort of sub-array with the first data point of the second one. Then the next entry is going to be the second data point of the third one, and so on and so forth. Once we have that uh, sort of array of, of lines, then we can uh, define a normalization function. So this just means that um, whatever derivative we compute, we're going to say that anything below negative 200 will be very red, anything above plus 200 will be very uh, green, and then anything in between will sort of be mapped to an average of those two colors. Then we turn this collection of line segments into a proper line collection, which is one of the tools from the library up here. We specify that it has a color map that's uh, red, yellow, green, and we specify this normalization function right here. So now we can actually activate the color normalization based on a specified array. So we use this set array here, and we feed in the um, derivative we found earlier. Then we can specify the line width and actually plot the results right here with a color bar and of course specify the axis and so on. So if we do that, you get a very nice plot like this. You can see that in any year where the gold price increases a lot, we mark that with a green line. In any place where the uh, gold price decreases a lot, we mark that with red. And you can see that all the uh, sort of less bad decreases are marked in like orange or light, uh, light red. And any of the sort of small increases will be marked in light green. So hopefully you found that uh, interesting. Please feel free to check out the source code in the description. Like the video if you found it useful. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.